What would an individual learn while taking the CWSP certification? Okay, so the CWSP or Certified Wireless Security Professional is that next level of knowledge and understanding of security in Wi-Fi networks that I talked a little bit about where you begin the learning journey with CWNA. What we do now is we take what is a few hours worth of learning knowledge in CWNA and we turn it into several days worth of learning knowledge for CWSP. We go much deeper into the security operations of our Wi-Fi networks. Now, why is this important? It's important because, well, security is important, but the reason security is important is because attacks are going up. They're on the rise. We're not seeing fewer attacks against our networks today. We're seeing more attacks. We're not seeing fewer discovered vulnerabilities. We're seeing more. We're not seeing fewer threats. We're seeing more and so forth. And interestingly enough, you even learn the differences in those terms I just used. Vulnerabilities, threats, attacks, because they're not all the same thing. And so understanding the difference between a vulnerability and a threat and an attack is a key thing. And we go in depth into that in CWSP, specifically as they apply to Wi-Fi networks. So you're going to understand, let me say it this way, how to understand the hack attacks that you hear about in the news. For example, a few years ago, there was an attack that revealed that one of the security technologies we use in Wi-Fi might not be as secure as we think it is. It was in all the press, not just technical press. I mean, it was in the New York Times. It was in all the press. They're talking about this security vulnerability. And the reality is it was blown way out of proportion. It was made to be something far scarier than it really was. Well, that is if you have good Wi-Fi administrators to take care of the issue so that you were not exposed. Um, But if you didn't have people that knew what they were doing, yeah, it could be pretty scary for what it could do to your network. The point is when you have CWSP as a certification yourself, as a network professional, or as a company, if you have CWSP certified professionals on your staff, the end result is you have people that when they hear about this kind of stuff in the media, they know how to look at it, analyze it, understand the real implications of it, and then implement the right security to protect the environment. And what security might that be? Well, we're dealing with the encryption that we use on the network, the authentication to get onto the network of many different types, including key-based authentication, where we share a key among all the devices, 802.1x authentication, which is a fancy way to say that we've got an algorithm that does the authentication for us on the network with different communications back and forth between devices, and also how to monitor your network so that you can monitor for known attacks, those that have been out for a while, and even zero-day attacks. These are the ones where maybe it's not really specified yet exactly what this attack is. It's a zero-day attack because we haven't figured out all the details about how it works yet, but the monitoring system can look for anomalies in the environment, things that are different. And when you see things that are unusually different, and you know there's nothing going on in the environment that ought to make things unusually different, you know that you may very well be under some kind of attack that the monitoring system cannot identify directly, but it can still give you the alert to say, hey, there's a problem out here and you need to investigate this. So everything from initial risk assessment all the way through to securing the environment and then maintaining the security of the environment, all of that is covered in CWSP.